Hey there, Latin 2. So here we are, chapter 47, looking forward to the games. Uh, so let's take a look at the glossary first. Um, right there you see negotio sus aun. And that means busy and obviously negotiation, right? So it's, it's, uh, there's, there's a few words that are happening, they're colliding. Uh, it's nego, right? So which is ago plus ne. So it's, it's basically not doing something. In other words, you're busy. Uh, let's see, uh, procerto habere, uh, to have for sure. So cross out to be sure and write in to have for certain. Um, munera munerum, these are games. Now this is different than the games that we just saw the boys playing. These are uh, official state recognized games. That's a different thing. Uh, there's also something called the funera, which is like uh, the, the games that you play at a funeral. And like there's different ceremonies for different things. Uh, but yeah, munera, munerum. This is something that's paid for by the, uh, the, the officials out of their own pockets for keeping everybody happy. It, it would be like, <clears throat> it, it basically keeps them from rioting. You know, it'd be like, I don't know if you were president and you spent lots and lots of public money on things that were unnecessary, but then you're like, but I gave back my salary. And it's like, uh, but a lot of people get fooled by such a thing. Luckily, we don't live in such times. That would be horribly corrupt. Uh, spero, sperare, sperawi, speratu. This is to hope. Okay, so uh, I aspire, I inspire, etc., etc., etc. I guess you expire too. Um, constat. Constat is one of those words that exists only in the third person singular. Uh, and usually only in the present, so it is agreed, and normally uh, introduces indirect statements. Epigramma epigrammatis. Okay, this is actually neuter, which is interesting, um, but uh, this is a third. This is obviously a Greek word because you have two M's next to each other, um, and you have an a G and an R. I mean, it's, it's epigram. Uh, the, the Romans weren't, weren't known for their, you know, wonderful epigrams. Um, so, imperator imperatoris, okay, uh, this is another word for leader, it could be leader, commander, general, guy in charge of a small platoon, um, commander or emperor, it's whoever's the, the, the top, the big chief, mawult, mawult, this is to prefer, and there's an interesting grammar thing that happens with this verb, um, but, uh, we'll, we'll get into that, um, later in this chapter. Uh, quo mayor el plus. So the greater, the more. The greater the crowd, the more the fun. You know, that kind of thing. Um, contineo, continere, continui, contentu. Now this is just teneo, tenere with con in front, right? So uh, it's to hold, but it's holding together, so confining them. Uh, and then malo, male, malui, to prefer. Now in English, I prefer that you do this versus I want you to do this. Prefer sounds softer. In Latin, it's the other way around. This is magis plus wult. It is, no, you will do this. I prefer it, you know, and so they've flipped it. Or rather, we've unflipped it. Turn the page, mature. This means early. Um, and yeah, mature, you know. And then epistula es conficienda. The letter must be finished. This is actually what's called the gerundive of obligation. You'll learn it next year. I was hoping to teach it to you in person this year, but we ain't in person. So, uh, and that should be it for vocab, I believe, uh, to be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. So what I want you to do now is go ahead and read pages 217 to 221. Uh, a lot of fun stuff. All right, I'm going to hit the button.